Hi, I'm Gabby Bear. I'm sure glad you turned my magic button because now I can tell you a fun and exciting story. And at the same time, I'd like to be your very special friend. Every time you hear this tone, it means it's time to turn the page in your storybook so you can read along with me. Right now, I'm gonna tell you a story full of adventure about Ruff Wolf. Ruff lives in the dark forest where many unfriendly animals live. And if you've had fun listening to me telling stories before, you've probably heard me talk about Ruff Wolf and how unfriendly he can be. Are you ready for my story? Here goes. One day, Ruff Wolf was looking over his den and decided that it was too small for him to live in anymore. Ruff figured his home just wasn't big enough for a wolf of his stature and reputation. He said, Ruff, I'm the most important wolf in these parts. Ruff, and I'm the unfriendliest animal in the dark forest. I need a bigger place to live. Ruff. <laughs> well, just between you and me, being unfriendly sure didn't make Rough Wolf important, but he thought so. Ruff went into the dark forest in search of a bigger den. Rough Wolf checked under large rocks and looked inside gopher holes. He even checked out Knuckles the squirrel's nest. Knuckles wasn't too happy about it. Knuckles warned Rough Wolf when he exclaimed, Rough Wolf? Don't get any ideas about taking my nest and using it for a den. Cause I can be just as unfriendly as you if I have to. Course Rough Wolf wasn't afraid of Knuckles, but he decided Knuckles' nest was too small for a den anyway. So Rough Wolf moved on, continuing his search. Rough Wolf walked through the dark forest until he came to a small clearing in the trees. There he saw something that pleased him. A family of rabbits was hopping in and out of a very large den that nature had built in the side of a hill. There was a papa rabbit and a mama rabbit and six baby rabbits. The rabbits were all white and fluffy. They jumped about playing as they enjoyed each other's company. Unfortunately, Rough Wolf isn't the kind of wolf that's interested in family life. He had his eye on that big den. Rough Wolf snarled to himself. Ruff! That den is perfect. Ruff! It's nice and big with plenty of elbow room for me. Ruff! Rough Wolf marched boldly to the unsuspecting rabbit family. The rabbits were scared stiff when they saw Ruff. Ruff Wolf bared his teeth and told the family he wanted to live in their den. He warned the rabbits to move out or else. Now, Papa Rabbit wasn't as big as Ruff Wolf, but he had a lion's heart. Papa Rabbit puffed out his chest and courageously stepped up to Ruff Wolf. Papa Rabbit told Ruff he and his family were new in the area, and, and if they had known that their neighbors were going to be so unfriendly, they wouldn't have moved into the dark forest. Ruff Wolf laughed when he told Papa Rabbit, Ruff! You're right, little rabbit. Ruff! This is no place for you and your family. Ruff! Now get going. Because I'm starting to get hungry. Ruff. With that, Ruff Wolf started to chase Papa Rabbit. Papa Rabbit ran to his family, and they attempted to hop away as fast as they could. Ruff Wolf got so close to Papa Rabbit, it looked like he would get a bite out of Papa Rabbit's tail. Fortunately, however, Papa Rabbit and his family reached the edge of the magical stream and hopped over it landing safely on the friendlier ground. Rough Wolf gave up the chase and went back into the dark forest. This is when Willie and I met the rabbits and offered our help to the homeless family. The rabbits told us how mean old Rough Wolf had taken their home. The baby rabbits cried, wondering what would become of them. 
Willie Goat said with a smile. Rabbit family, you can stay at Gabby Bear's old car home for a while. At least until you can find a new home. There's plenty of blueberries in the glove compartment and soft seats to sleep on. <laughs> the rabbits were very glad to hear our offer and thankful they had met some friends. So off they went to my old car home. I told Willie, even though he didn't like going into the dark forest, he and I were going to check out the trouble Rough Wolf had caused and find out what was going on. Well, Rough Wolf had a big unpleasant surprise when he moved into the rabbit's den. Oh, oh the den was big enough, all right, but the ceiling caved in. That's right, the ceiling fell down on Rough Wolf's head. <laughs> now, he didn't get hurt, but boy, was he ever mad. You see, there were gophers living inside the ceiling of the den, and they had made so many holes, the ceiling was weak. And, well, the new big den wasn't so big anymore. In fact, Rough Wolf could hardly squeeze his way outside. Once out of the den, Rough Wolf mumbled angrily, Ruff, this is humiliating, Ruff. Things like this shouldn't happen to a great wolf like me. Ruff! Rough Wolf looked for help to clean out his den and fix the ceiling. He went to see his unfriendly friend, Sizzles the Snake. But Sizzles wouldn't help Rough Wolf. She was too busy with her own affairs. Ruff then found Stinky the Skunk. But when Ruff asked Stinky for help, Stinky ran off claiming she had more important things to do, like perfuming her den. By this time, Rough Wolf was both angry and confused at the same time. He wondered why no one would help him. Well, Ruff had one more place to go for help, and that was Knuckles the Squirrel. As Ruff trotted along, he said to himself confidently, Ruff! Knuckles will help me fix up my den. Ruff! I know I can count on him. Ruff. But when Rough Wolf asked Knuckles the squirrel for help, Knuckles was not one to be counted on. Knuckles told Rough Wolf, Sorry I can't help you out, Ruff. I've got to go collect some nuts. <laughs> I've got to get them before anybody else does. Knuckles left Rough Wolf standing in the dark forest, shocked by how everyone deserted him. Well, with no one to help him, Ruff had to clean out the dirt and repair the ceiling of the den by himself, and it was a big job. Ruff had to use his paws to scrape the dirt out of the den. Then he had to use his back legs to kick the dirt away from the den's door. Ruff grumbled to himself as he worked. Ruff! That no good sizzles the snake and Stinky the skunk. Ruff! And even Knuckles the squirrel wouldn't help me. Some friends. Ruff! Rough Wolf kept working, moving the dirt out of the den, huffing and puffing as he toiled. Willie Goat and I watched him from a distance, and even though Rough Wolf was unfriendly, I felt a little sorry for him. I told Willie, I thought we should give Rough Wolf a hand in cleaning up the den. Willie gave me a funny look and said, Have you lost your marbles, Gabby Bear? Rough Wolf doesn't deserve help. He took that den from that family of rabbits. Why, Ruff's the most unfriendly animal around. I told Willie Goat that didn't matter. Ruff needed our help, so we should help him. Willie was a bit confused when he said, Sometimes I just don't understand you, Gabby. But you've never steered me wrong yet. Let's go help Ruff. Ruff Wolf wasn't too friendly when he saw Willie and me approach his den. In fact, he snarled and told us, Ruff! Gabby Bear, Willie Goat, you're trespassing on my property. Ruff! I smiled and told Ruff, that Willie and I came to help him fix up his den. <laughs> Rough Wolf was suddenly a bit friendly. He told us he was just kidding about the trespassing and would gladly accept our help. Willie and I began to clear the dirt from the caved-in den. Willie used his rainbow horn to pry loose rocks. I used my paws to move dirt out of the den. 
Ruff worked on the ceiling. As we worked, Ruff Wolf began to complain about the other animals and how they wouldn't help him. I told Ruff Wolf that if he wants to get help from others, he also was going to have to learn to be helpful. Willie backed me up when he said, Yeah, you ought to listen to my friend Gabby Bear. He knows what he's talking about. It seemed like our words were bouncing off Ruff Wolf. He told us even if he appreciated our help and thanked us, he couldn't let any of the other animals know. You see, Ruff Wolf was afraid it would ruin his unfriendly reputation in the dark forest. Willie and I were disappointed. Well, Willie and I finished helping Ruff fix the den. Big dark clouds were now hovering over the forest and it began to rain. The storm grew quickly and rain came down harder and harder. It was the worst I had ever seen. The winds kicked up and soared through the trees, causing loud whistling sounds. The wind was heaviest at Knuckles the squirrel's nest. It blew every nut right out of his nest, and Knuckles himself clung to a tree branch for his life. The rains poured down. Water flooded everything, and Sizzles the snake's home was no exception. The rainwater filled up the snake hole as if someone had turned on a large faucet. It wasn't long before Sizzles jumped out of her home, choking for air. The storm didn't overlook Stinky the skunk either. Her den was on low ground, and it was flooded, causing Stinky to run off into the dark forest, unprotected from the weather. But Rough Wolf's den was another story. It was nice and dry, and on high ground, safe from the rainwaters. Willie and I were a short distance from the den. Since Ruff didn't invite us to stay in the den, we were standing under a large oak tree. It blocked the rain real good, but we were cold. It was about that time that Willie said to me, Look, Gabby, there's Knuckles the squirrel, Sizzles the snake, and Stinky the skunk. They're going to Ruff's den. Sure enough, Willie was right. The three of them were soaked to the bone. They knocked on Rough Wolf's den door, then asked him for shelter from the rain. Willie and I could hear Ruff's reply. Ruff! You wouldn't help me, so why should I help you? Ruff! What do you think I am? A fool? Now get away from here! Ruff! Ruff slammed the door in the face of Knuckles, Sizzles, and Stinky. I gave out a loud whistle and motioned to them to join us under the tree, which they gladly did. It was a sorry sight. They were really hurt that Ruff didn't let them in out of the rain. And it wasn't long before Papa Rabbit, Mama Rabbit, and their babies joined us under the oak. They told me my car home had flooded. The only dry animal around seemed to be Ruff Wolf. But that wasn't for long. I saw it first. A large mudslide came down the hill behind Ruff's den. It covered the den like a thick blanket. Ruff Wolf was covered with mud. Inside the den, water was leaking in from all sides. It was filling the den. Before Ruff knew it, the water rose from his paws to his tummy. Ruff began to swim around in the den, but that wouldn't do him any good for long because the water kept rising and pretty soon it would reach the ceiling of the den and Ruff would be totally underwater. Ruff cried out, Help! Somebody help me! I, I'm going to be out of air soon. Ruff might as well have been shouting in the middle of a hurricane. Nobody could hear him through all that mud, but I didn't have to hear him to know he was in trouble, and neither did Willie, because he exclaimed, Gabby, I think Ruff's in real danger. If we don't help him, he's not going to be long for this world. Willie and I took off running to the den. I told Willie to use his rainbow horn, and he knew just what I meant. Willie leaped up like a mountain goat on top of the mud above Ruff's den. He started digging in that mud with his rainbow horn. He worked so fast, he was doing the job of half a dozen farmers. 
About that time, I jumped up on the mud next to Willie, and as soon as Willie dug through the ceiling of Ruff's den, I reached into the water below and grabbed hold of Ruff's ear. I yanked him up through the hole with all the bare strength I had. Ruff coughed and sputtered, but he was okay. Now, now I've seen wet dogs before, but a wet wolf was something else. Rough Wolf was really embarrassed. He tried to cover up his fear when he said, Hey, what's going on? Rough. I had everything under control. Rough. I wasn't scared at all. Rough. <laughs> Willie and I looked at each other and winked. We told Ruff, if that was the case, we were going to put him back in the flooded den, but he begged us not to. That's when Ruff knew that we knew he was really scared. <coughs> Willie and I helped Ruff out of the den, and we all joined Knuckles, Sizzle, Stinky, and the rabbit family under the oak tree. Ruff's predicament sure taught him a lesson. In front of the others, he said to Willie and me, Thanks for saving my life, Gabby and Willie. Ruff then turned to Knuckles, Sizzle, Stinky, and the Rabbit family and told them if they wanted to call him a jerk, it was okay with him. He wasn't going to start any fights, at least on that day. <laughs> I felt real good and wrote a little song to fit the occasion. It went like this. Ruff Wolf was the most unfriendly type. He was always ready for a fight. He loved to bare his teeth and be gruff. But now Ruff Wolf was not so tough. <laughs> well, that's my story about Ruff Wolf not being so tough. He went back to his old den. As for the rabbits, they found a nice home near where I live. <laughs> So it's goodbye for now. I hope you had a good time. I sure did. And remember, the next time you want to hear a fun and exciting story from Gabby Bear, <laughs> just turn my magic button. 